okay so i've sewn it all together and all i've done is just done straight stitch around pretty much everything i've done some more here i've attached this just with a single row of stitches and this piece actually measures 20 inches by 12 so it's quite a big piece and now i'm thinking what am i gonna do next <laughs> yep i'm at that stage now where is it i could just carry on putting some rows of stitches i could this one i think i might do some just free flow round but oh, it's just there's just so many opportunities and so many ways i could go but i haven't done one before so i'm going to keep it simple what i've done is i've grabbed out quite a lot of bits and pieces so i've got all these sort of tr pieces i've got laces ribbons fabrics yo-yos i've got wool and you know just just all the bits that i sort of thought might use a big bag of ribbons that i don't know i might use i don't know and i also found some little um what were going to be pockets in journals that i never finished them this one's finished and i'm thinking i might add some pockets because i could then use this hang it up and put things in the pockets so that got me thinking yep i'm gonna make some pockets obviously this one probably won't go on because it's i don't know it might it might work um this one just needs more and i found this and i remembered i'd made loads of snippets these what are they called you know little snippet things um clusters that's the word oh, me and my words and you know when we make things on our channels and then you never see what we do with them well i'm going to show you what i did with with this do you remember this book we made and we just sewed all the signatures in i've actually pinned in all my clusters to this to the pages in here so that i've got sort of red ones i've got blue ones so all the clusters i've made i've sort of added into here so i can you know just go through my book and choose one so i just thought i'd show you that because it's something you know it's really easy and you just pin them on onto the pages I haven't got some room left because I've run out of clusters. I did put some in this one. This is how I started. But look how look how yummy they look. <laughs> I, just, I started off just doing one on each page on here. And then I thought, oh, if I use the big book, I can fit loads in. So I may use some of these, like just rough clusters like that. I might use some of these as pieces on my wall hanging so yeah i just thought i'd show you what i did with these so yeah yummy little books so once if if you're wondering what you can do with your little book once you've made it that's one thing you can do you know i mean this what we're doing with this one is is sort of making a page every day sort of on here so and that was the last page we are taking a break we will be back to finish this off, but I'm just taking a break from the book because I wanted to do something different. Okay, so I'm going to put these away for now because they'll come out sort of at the end. And we are going to start looking at what I can do with this. <laughs> so bearing in mind I want to put pockets on it, um, that's, that's going to be the top. I've sort of folded that over and I've accidentally gone on there so i'm gonna to have to unpick that and do it lower down but you know i've got to get me a little dowel through or a twig or something so i don't know where to start because you're not going to see it all i may start at the bottom okay let, let's start at the bottom let's fold it up a little bit can you see this bit let me have a look yes it's no real shush a minute so I think this one is pretty much ready. I might put some buttons on it. 
I just think it would be really cool if we just sort of, I can hang it up and I can put things in little pockets. And I love this one. And I can just sew them down. I don't know whether to finish this. I can have little mini pockets for little mini things like, like my needle holder. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It might be a sewing one. It might be something else. So this is my plan. This one I haven't even finished sewing, look. But we are going to finish these off. And I don't know. I don't know about this one. This is like a double pocket. It's going to go in a journal. But I think if I add some more stuff to it, it's going to be fine. Like, maybe one of these. So... Then, once we've got these on, we can sort of decorate around them. What do you think? Right, let's finish off these. Because, you know, finishing off. This one, I think, is ready. So, we'll do that. I'm thinking this could just sit on here somewhere, maybe. Maybe we'll just make another one. That can be a little pocket on its own. Um, buttons. I did get out some bits to sew on. Got these little trims, which I thought would look really cool somewhere. Don't know. Just snip them and add a couple of dangles. This one's really pretty. Look at that. I don't know where I got them from. Can't remember. But I think they'd look really cool as as like you know. Maybe at the top of the pocket, like that. That one would look quite nice on there, wouldn't it? So we could do that. Um, I've got beads here and I did dig out some buttons. So I quite like that one. I think that would be better on something else. Maybe that one. I'm working on all three at the same time. <laughs> it's probably not going to go well. Ooh, now that sort of matches. Don't know, don't know. Thinking about that one. Um, this has got loads on it already, but I just thought it needed something else. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stitch this button on. Just, just on the end of this because it just looks a bit odd. That's all right. Yeah, I think just something in the centre of this. It just needs something, doesn't it? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could do little bullion stitches coming up through oh that might be quite nice this is going to take a very long time i think <laughs> it's all hanging i am going to do some of it sort of you know in downtime but i will be back with progress Let's see if I can get one more little knot there. It's a bunch of three little French knots. So one down. What are you doing? So I've got two pockets. Um, do we think that will strengthen the top? Did I have some of that colour threaded? I thought I did. Yes, I did. Huh? I've got two different blues threaded up. Well, this is more of a greeny blue. Right, so we're going to cut this end off. And we've got two more then that we can use. I've knotted this one, <laughs> so we should be okay.
and that should go that's going to go right around the buttons so it's good and i'm not worried if it's going to pop over the top because nobody's going to be looking very close oh that's going to look nice if i do little tiny stitches along the top like that that's, and try and keep them in a straight line. You know what I'm like with straight lines. It usually work out quite well for me, but we're, oh, come back. We might put you on. So what do you think? Anybody else working on a wall hanging? Anybody else tempted or inspired to work on a wall hanging? I'd love to know what you're going to be doing as yours. Are you going to turn yours into a pocket? A pocket holding wall hanging. I don't know what I'm going to put in them. I could put my sewing stuff. Oops, I'm not going in a straight line already. Oh, well, it's close enough. Snowbelt is still very grumpy. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with her today. <laughs> she is just grumpy. make sure that I am actually coming through the fabric on the other side like that it's very tough I think I've got about three layers now so that's okay so yeah I might just do that and I'll be back when I've got to the end Okay, so sewn that on and I might do some more just little stitches inside. Just want to put something underneath this one. And no, I think this is going to be the best thing to use. Um, now. Just some more layers of frills on there. I'm going to take that top, that top layer. <laughs> I wish I knew what I was doing. <laughs> oh dear me. It would help, wouldn't it? But you know, winging it videos are pretty cool. I love winging it videos myself, so... Let's just cut it down a bit. Now, I think I need to cut that bit off. That net. I don't need that on. That's just going to be a pain to sew around. And I might, uh, yeah, cut it a little bit more. Didn't measure it very well, did I? And if we tuck it up here. I know there's a crease in it. Let me come in a bit. There you go, Joanne. I listened. <laughs> I'm going to tuck it underneath that one. And I think that'll look really pretty. It'll make the pocket look really big. But it, it's only a really tiny pocket. So. Let's stitch that down. Now, really, I could do with some white. So all I've done is pin that ribbon down there and pin this one up out of my way. <laughs> and I'm just doing a very quick running stitch up here. You're not going to see. Don't you loop around them beads. 
you're not going to see this so it's fine it can be as long as it holds should really go the other way then i wouldn't have to keep moving it from the beads would i There we go. Just straight across. And we'll finish it off. This little back. bit here. I may just do some little something. Maybe, maybe I'll do a flower. Just want to finish it. You know, get get them ready to put on. And I'm going to have a hunt and see if I can find... I thought I'd made pockets already, but obviously I haven't. Isn't it weird when you think you've made stuff? Or you put it somewhere safe and you can't find it. Do a little... Make a little daisy. If I, if I do this without tangling it up around them beads, I should be very surprised. Oops. Well, it's going to be a very funny daisy. What have I just done? Twisted it. I've only got two strands, so they're going to be very skinny little daisies. <laughs> I should have put the beads on last. Note to self, next time you do it, put the beads on last, Carol. <laughs> because you keep getting tangled up. So just a very simple little daisy stitch here. Just for something behind the beads. That's all. You could do what you like behind here. I mean, I might even have a go at doing one of them roses I did before. That, they were quite cool. And that's twisted. Don't twist. Should have used more more threads. But it's fine. It's only for behind. Let's turn it into a rose. See if I can remember how to do it, like weaving it. I could do that easy. What colour should we have? Well, that one's going to be fine, isn't it? This is some of my um, the sample ones that I get from my scrap store. And uh, people have like used them and you know, giving them, giving them up. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't want to do it anymore. And I'm quite happy to pick them up and bring them home. They don't seem, doesn't seem to be very popular embroidery at the moment around here. Because I'm always finding bits like that that people have like discarded. Okay, right. I'll try and stay here and hopefully it'll be in frame. So under and over. <laughs> and I've already made a mess. 
because it's looped itself. Oh, dear me. Honestly, it's really going well today, guys. Having one of them days today. Okay. So under, over, under. Just have to keep turning it round and round. Over, under, and just keep going round. Which is a bit tricky when you've got all this other stuff going on. Just keep going and take a little while. I may cut some of this out or I may just go super fast. I chose super fast. As you can see, I've soon got into a rhythm and you can see the rose taking shape. I just love this stitch. How super cool is that? I need to buy another camera. I need a camera. I've decided doing it on my phone is just not it's just not working anymore. I need to do better videos. I need to do better videos for you guys. No, no, no. Uh, doesn't matter how many times I do this, I still don't get my um my base stitches all the same length. So you can end up with little sort of spots. Oops. Oops. On the outside. But I'm not going to panic about it. As you can see, looking really cool. This one's very long. <laughs> and this one is really short. Very simple stitch to do, but really effective. I love this. This is a cool one. I am just going to use up the thread that I've got on here, guys. I am not going to worry if I've got a little spike sticking out on that one side. Or maybe on four sides. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Uh, I'll just go round and down there I think we'll call it we'll call it done and that's another pocket that we finished oops and tie a double knot because really this has not been caught anywhere it's just been wrapped so oh, are you giving up as well oh, i'm gonna need new supplies so there we go i think that just finishes that off and i know it's a bit lopsided but you know what i like it like that i like it i've got a neat one and i've got a messy one and i've got a pretty one sorry if you couldn't see so i've pinned this one on and I'm thinking about putting this one over here. And now I've changed my mind. <laughs> this is why I've pinned them. And I'm not using these pins. I do have my pins from Joanne here, which will probably be easier. And some purple thread, which I'm not using. Um, how about we swap them? Does that look better? I just think it'd be quite cool to have pockets at the bottom. I did find another pocket. Look at this one. I'd made this out of some a pocket of an old my old jeans. And I'm just wondering 
could have another big one up here somewhere. What do you think? Is, can you see? I don't know. I don't know if you can see it all. If I turn it round, you might. Um, right, so this is the whole, the whole thing. And remember, it's that way. <laughs> this is the top. So we just got to play around and get these in the right position. I quite like the idea of having the pockets. I do. I was just gonna. I was gonna do a big heart, wasn't I? I could do some little hearts and dot them around. I've got this one to do. It's very hard to tell when you're looking at it from here. That's a bit top heavy, do you think? Because that's quite a big pocket. I'm just wondering. Little pockets at the top. Big pocket here. Maybe something something like that maybe and then put some things in between <gasps> i think that sort of I, i'm quite happy with that right i'm gonna put some of these super bins i've never had such a long pins thank you joanne <laughs> well pin these on and i might Stitch them down. Da, da, da. This I might add something else to first because it's it's a bit plain. I quite like the way that that's like over that. What do you think, guys? Am I there? Do you think that is it? And then we, we sort of embellish around the pockets from like a vintage collar. Maybe we could put it underneath. Something like that. Maybe that. That looks quite nice. Oh, you could just go to town, couldn't you? Still need something over it in this corner. Just haven't got anything. Or my darling cat has run off with my little bits. We'll be back to do a bit more embellishing. Okay. Thank you for joining me, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by and putting up with me. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> this is, is going to be such a fun project i'm going to be putting all sorts of bits and pieces on here quite like it up there like that oh yeah maybe maybe right i'm off i will see you soon have fun stitching guys and let me know if you're doing one of these because that would be awesome bye